Hi guys, so today's video is going to be a book haul. I'm just gonna jump right into it. So a lot of you saw recently that in September, I am planning on doing a buddy read for the first book in the Malazan Book of the Fallen series. So I kinda had to grab myself a copy. If you're interested in joining that buddy read, I'll have the link to the Facebook group down below. I am only gonna be sticking to Facebook. You guys are more than welcome to buddy read it any which way you'd like, but I just figured I have heard that this series is amazing, but also super, super dense and difficult. And I'm not so uh, confident in my abilities and my intelligence that I think I can get through this alone. So I recruited, uh, you know, other readers to help me. And a lot of you are really excited to read it too. I'm really excited. And I bought myself this little tiny used kind of beat up version because I figured this series seems like one that I'm gonna to need to take notes on, and I wanna have a book that I'm not gonna mind potentially messing up a little. The next book I got, I'm aware, you're probably like, what What are you doing? You own this book already. I see it right behind you, it's right there, L. Do you not know you own it? I'm aware I own it. It's the Hero of Ages. It's this old school American edition. I know I own it, but I saw it at my local Half Price Books. I had a 50% off coupon. I was like, yay, Mistborn. I love Mistborn because you guys know I love Mistborn. So every time I see it, even though I own it, I get excited. And I saw it and I was like, what if it's signed? I just, I just had this weird thing inside me telling me, you should look if it's signed. And guess what, guys? It is signed. It is signed by Brandon Sanderson. And you know what else? It's a first edition. And I got it for $7. At a different used bookstore, I saw the same book for over $200 because it was signed. I don't even know if it was a first edition. It was just signed. Moral of the story is if you annoy people on the internet enough by talking about the same series all the time, you'll find it signed in a first edition form. Now on to the rest of the regular old books I got. The first one would be The Bird and the Blade by Megan Bannon and I don't know what this is a book that this book is about. Sorry for slurring. I didn't drink. I don't drink. I just can't talk. I don't know what the story is about, but one of you in the comments said, "Have you read The Bird and the Blade? It was so sad. It made me cry." Telling me that something made you cry is basically a guaranteed way to make me interested in the book, and I've been wanting to get this book for forever. Ever since I saw that comment, I've wanted it, and I finally found it on sale and I had store credit. The next couple books are books that were on my anticipated releases for the second half of the year. If you are interested in seeing other books that I'm excited about, I'll go ahead and link my anticipated release videos in the description bar. But anyway, one of them would be The Storm Crow. This is by Kaylin Josephson. This is a story that follows two sisters, one of which is trying to hold their kingdom together after a tragedy struck, and the other one, because there was some pretty tragic things that struck, uh, she's now depressed and these two sisters are doing what they can to pick up the pieces, to try to keep things going, and they end up finding some, some hope that they can get their kingdom restored to the way it used to be. There used to be these magical crows that helped their society in basically every way, and they may have found some of those crows remaining. So I think it sounds really cool. I don't see very many animal companion type stories anymore, but when I do pick them up, I always really enjoy them. This one sounds really cool, kind of different, but I'm excited about it. Next up, we have Spin the Dawn by Elizabeth Lim. This is a story I'm sure a lot of you have seen already, so I don't know that I'm gonna add anything new, especially because I haven't read it yet, but basically it's Mulan combined with fashion. It sounds really, really fun, really silly, kind of whimsical and quirky and different. And I'm excited about it. Mulan was my favorite Disney movie growing up. And then also the fact that instead of like going to war, the character has to go compete in a tailoring competition. That just sounds so bizarre. And then some of the things that they need to find, like make a dress that's made from the tears of the sun, just really bizarre, silly things. I think it sounds like so much fun. I've seen quite a few people say they're already really enjoying it. So I'm glad that I, I'm glad I have my local used bookstores guys because they always end up having stuff. They give you great deals on store credit and I'm excited they had, they had this one and the Storm Crow the day they were released 
and I use my store credit immediately for them. The last book I got, I got from the book of the month. I'll go ahead and leave a link to my kind of like affiliate link down below if you're interested in it. The way it works is they have a handful of books. They have five books that they pick every month and you get to pick the one you want and then they send it to you. They're brand new, it costs $15, shipping is free. Currently, I believe it's only in the US, but the book that I picked for this month would be Wicked Fox. I've heard that this is really sweet, really cute, really fun, and I'm really excited about it. If any of these books sound interesting to you, I'll go ahead and link them all down below so you can easily find them. But anyway, thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you guys later. Bye.